What is going on guys? We're gonna come to videos. My name is indeed Kyle Gilbert and today I'm gonna to be talking about Something that actually does kind of agitate me. I'm not gonna lie guys. I'm not gonna to try to rant, but um Are you fucking kidding me? The spider-man game has been out for a little bit And it gives you know the fan community Enough time to come up with some memes and shit like that. I don't know where on my Twitter feed, on my Instagram feed, and shit like that in the past couple weeks have been just flooded on shitting on Tom Holland as Spider Man. I just don't understand why this happened. I have a I have a theory, but please in the comments down below if you think you know what it is, comment below. When Spider-Man first appeared in the MCU in Captain America Civil War. Nothing but praise. Everyone just said, like, the CGI is a little weird here and there. But there was there's some people who didn't really like it. But for the most part, like, 95% of the population really freaking loved him. They're like, he embodied who Peter Parker was. He embodied what Spider-Man was. And they found him entertaining. Spider-Man Homecoming comes out. There was a couple people complaining on, on a fair side saying that he's too much like Iron Man. He's being Iron Jr. I understand that. I understood that. At least he's still a great Spider-Man and a great Peter Parker. And everyone, for the most part, said that. Then, fast forward one year after Infinity War and all that other shit. And, you know, everyone's still loving Spider-Man. Everyone cried when Tom Holland died in Avengers Infinity War. If you haven't seen the movie, what the fuck are you doing on this channel? He's dead. Every, people get emotional. This game comes out. Literally, when this game comes out. I get flooded on my freaking Instagram and my Twitter. Tom Holland is a Batman Beyond ripoff. Hey, Andrew Garfield's a better uh, Peter Parker and a better Spider-Man than Tom Holland. Where the fuck did this hate come from? I do not understand. Literally, look up Tom Holland's Spider-Man memes on the internet. I five fucking dollars you're going to be flooded with Tom Holland's garbage at Spider-Man. It's just... It blows my fucking mind. Like how the internet literally went from loving this kid to hating this kid in a matter of one video game. I get it. You can like like a Spider-Man video game character more than the movie counterpart. Good for you. I mean, you can literally say, like this is the same instance. Michael Keaton's Batman comes out. He's amazing! Woo! And then... Christian Bale's Batman comes out. Everyone's like, Christian Bale's the best. Fuck Michael Keaton. Like, are you fucking kidding me? It's so stupid. It drives me nuts. Unless, unless, this is just the 1% of the people that fucking hated this Spider-Man with a burning passion and they're just coming out of what works because they're like, Wait, that one better Spider-Man. Because guess what? He's older because, you know, Spider-Man is never young. Oh, and he doesn't rely on technology even though he relies on technology. It's like... It just pisses me off. Where were you guys when the movie came out? I heard nothing but love. Nothing but passion. Oh, Spider-Man's the MCU. Yes, it's a little annoying that he's relying on uh, Iron Man so much. But he's still... At the heart and the core, he's still Spider-Man. He's still Peter Parker. And everywhere else, after this game comes out, just shit on him! <sighs> Here's my theory why this happened and wh where this is coming from. There's two. One, it's like I said, like literally the 1% just came out of the uh, woodwork and just said like, hey... This Spider-Man is way better than that Tom Holland garbage. Like, I don't... I, very unlikely, because, like, I would have most likely seen it. People would have most likely shared it. Especially guys on the DC end who wanted this shit on Spider-Man. I mean, well, let's be fair. DC tries to shit on Marvel all the time, and Marvel tries to shit on DC. But let's... The war aside, I would have seen a lot of stuff from my DC fanboy buddies. I would have seen a lot of Tom Holland as garbage memes from them. I've seen a couple, like, stuff, just, it was just mostly pertaining to him being an Iron Man Jr. Uh, kid. But here's my theory. This is kind of a direct, a direct jab at the, uh, the fandom. 
we as fans tend to get a little overhyped. Bear with me. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not directly jabbing at each individual person. I'm. Di- I'm directing this towards a fandom, and it's. It's fine when you really look at it. It's not like a huge problem. When we get something that's great, something that we haven't seen in a while, like a good Spider-Man game, we haven't seen a great Spider-Man game to this caliber in years, and with with, with a great story with its own identity and its own story not based off any game and it's it's high quality we haven't got that in a long time if not this is like one of a kind one of a kind spider-man game take that and then fandom can usually usually not all the time usually turn that hype to what it, they really feel and then they time t- t- like time and time again tend to just turn that eight to a 15. Like, I hope I'm not, like, pissing people off when I say that. But, like, you see what I mean? Like, when it, it came to Avengers uh, Age of Ultron, at first, a lot of people said they loved it. Then, as time went on, they're like, it's not that good. Same thing with The Phantom Menace. Star Wars fans went in there. This movie's awesome. And then, as time went along, wow, this movie kind of sucks. It's stuff like that. I'm not saying the game sucks. By far, it's an incredible game. That's what makes this more understandable to a certain extent. Where like, that you just see something so incredible or something that you love with a burning passion and then you just turn it, up, turn it up on the dial and make it so unrealistic to compare to. And then, it like, of course no other Spider-Man's gonna beat it. Like, I've seen memes like, Tobey Maguire, best Peter Parker. Andrew Garfield, best live-action Spider-Man. Okay. Okay. And then... The PS4 version, it was like, best Spider-Man overall. And then Tom Holland was like, best Batman Beyond ripoff. I get it. You can love the game. You can even you can even prefer prefer this, this Spider-Man over the Tom Holland version. You can. I know a buddy who prefers this one. And he explained why. And I said, that's fair. I, it's not that I agreed with him. It's the fact that I understood where he was coming from. But these people... Like that just started shitting on Tom Holland. Only started shitting on him when this game came out because now they want to compare everything that the game did against Tom Holland. That's my theory because this game is incredible. It's one of the best games in Marvel history, in my opinion. It's incredible. It's got some flaws here and there, but like on a story standpoint, it's incredible. Now they want to like compare everything that did. Against Tom Holland, which is not fair. You can honestly prefer this this PS4 Spider-Man. You can. I I won't throw shade at you, but it's the the thing is now you're gonna take that love. What the internet does best is turn something that they love and then turn it into something negative. You love this Spider-Man, but now you got you have to find something to turn that positive to negative. Why can't you just love both? Why can't you just say you'll prefer this Spider-Man over that Spider-Man? And just like, just, instead of just harping on the Tom Holland Spider-Man, finding everything that th- that Spider-Man does to compare to Tom Holland. I, I I just don't get it. I never did, and I probably never will. I want to hear your thoughts down below, guys. Are you some of the few people like me who are noticing this trend and are getting a little annoyed? I want to hear your thoughts down below, guys. I have a Twitter, Instagram, Gumps underscore videos. Go follow me there for the latest news and updates on my channel, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and all that crap. Goodbye.